Today we're going to take a look at some of the new features coming in FXView 2.1. The first of these, if we expand the custom pages category from Mansfield, which are pages from a document that we've associated with Mansfield, there's a little checkbox over here so these document pages can now be added to the clipboard over here. Likewise, if we go to the JFK tab, we can select the FX Guide section and we can now add pages from the AccuQuick data or the Jepson Airport data right to the FX View clipboard over here. So you can see that custom page from Mansfield as well as the AccuQuick services page from JFK are now on the clipboard. One of the other new features is if we take a look at the airport diagram for JFK, which is a two-page chart, there's a now a setting where you can auto-rotate two-page charts to give you a better initial first view. This is something that you can enable or disable. Now if we close this and go back here, we'll take a look at this FX8 owner's manual. And one of the other things that you can do is if we look at the find, you can now make documents favorites. So you don't need to go all the way to the documents category to find them. For now we'll cancel and go back. We can go into the notepad down here and it's going to bring you to the last page that you were working on. So for example this is a departure clearance and if we select go to page you can see that you can now title the notepad pages exactly as you want them rather than just having multiple with the same name. So we have the route of flight and the date right there. One of the other new features is the ability to import your own notepad page templates. So this is just a little grid for weight and balance that I put in there. Now if we close this and go back to the document, the last feature we want to take a look at today is if we go into the FX8 owner's manual, it's a document, this is a new icon, this fine text over here. And if we select it, it's going to bring us to the search view. So we get a little keyboard and we can enter the text that we want to search for right in there. So if I want to search for stylus, I type that in and I say find and it's now going to search the document and what it'll do is it'll give you the matches for the text that you've put in there and then you can hit next to keep going. So those are just some of the new features coming in FXView 2.1 so stay tuned to see what else is coming.